we're coming out of a period of very positive news. Um, the government has been, in fact, experiencing surpluses for a number of years, to the extent so much that we thought that they were planning their surpluses and actually did a research paper on it. What has, in fact, happened, though, is the government uh, has begun to behave very much like the consumers of Canada. So we've had a lot of public spending, and coming out of the recession, there was obviously some stimulus money injected into the economy to help things out. That stimulus money has now come to an end, and while we would have seen that possibly preserve us coming out of the recession, what we're finding, it doesn't necessarily bring about a lingering economic growth. So it will be very interesting to see what the next year bears. Unemployment is up, government deficits are up, consumers continue to take on more debt. Obviously, the biggest risk to all the groups is that interest rates hikes will e eventually appear. We know that Mr. Carney has been holding down the rate at 1% as we speak. Uh, we recognize, however, that that's mostly to tame inflation. And uh, it's very encouraging to see the Bank of Canada have an interest in keeping inflation low. But in the long term, they will not be able to keep it there. And consequently, uh, we, we, when we look at the numbers, we expect that a, a, as little as a 2% hike in, uh, in interest rates, which could happen in the next two to three year period, that would mean that the average Canadian would have to come back, cut back their personal spending by up to 10% on uh, discretionary items. And when I mean, say discretionary, that includes health care, it includes education, it includes retirement. So uh, if they were to hold their shelter and food costs constant, they have to cut 10% across the board just to meet the interest servicing costs.